does not care about public health. They only pretend to care about anything when it benefits them financially or power-wise. And we all know that. Like we said, if eating broccoli cured cancer, they wouldn't tell you. If, I don't know, if taking a mud bath cured, uh, cured hip and shoulder replacements, they wouldn't tell you because, you know, there's money to be made. So that's what we have to understand about the left. They don't do anything unless it's for money or power. Now, there's been a lot of talk about, um, it's hard to talk about these things without being not careful enough. Let's say that the whole reason that the cases, virus cases, have been going bad is really because the left has been allowing unvaccinated people to pour into our country. If they really cared about the pe about public health, if they really cared about the Americans' public health, if they really cared, cared about the immigrants' public health, they would probably should require the shots or jabs before they entered in. They should have tightened everything up and then just only let them in little by little until they've gotten there. Uh, they're shot. But it's obvious that the Democrats are doing this on purpose because they want to keep the sickness going. They want everyone to be sick because everyone being sick is such a benefit to them. Being sick gives them power. And it gives them money. This sickness is a cash cow for the Dems and their buddies. They don't want to see everybody get better. What are you talking about? They want everyone to be sick. And like I said, and so, so purposefully, they are purposefully spreading these germs as though they were taking a jar of germs and spreading it through the air conditioners in the buildings. That's pretty much how the left is doing. Like I said, they are creating a problem, and then they want to say they're the ones to solve the problem. This is how they're trying to find out who opposes them. Everybody that obeys them in lockstep, they're good people. Oh, they can still get it too, but they're good. But then everyone who opposes them, this is the left's perfect opportunity to try to crack down and try to uh, render their enemies helpless. So, you see, this is, there's a lot of things going on here. It's not just about sickness. And if you think the government cares about you, you need your head examined. This is also about solidifying power, about testing the waters to see how many people obey unquestioningly and blindly, and how many people resist. And the people who resist, how much pressure do they have to apply to get them to give in? And then after that, then they want to find out what core of people that are so stubborn that they have to use to take them by force. See, this is them. They are, it's, it's war. It's the politicians war against the people. They are testing the strengths and the weaknesses of the people. And a lot of people have failed that test. So is that they're creating this problem for their own benefit. And the origins are still a little bit slightly unknown, but all we know is that the left was completely happy to be spreading it uh, early on in the in 2020. And now, and they're still happily spreading it. They're still very happily spreading it. But they're just, they figure as long as they say that they're for things to get better, then just believe me and everything, will, and I'm so good. They're just expert liars, expert manipulators. And unfortunately, if people are deceived by them, <clears throat> then uh, more fool they. But, but yes, the, the left doesn't care about public health. And as even most of the measures that they have taken were not good measures, they were ineffective measures. And I said, they just want to see people jump. They jump and they want to see who says how high and how many they can fool, how many they can coerce, and how many they can control. So this is another reason the secession is badly needed. We cannot 
ever improve the country or make things better if we have crooks and criminals at the helm. The only way to get them out of the helm is to just declare independence, which is someday something that people have to be prepared to do. I just don't like to see the sheepalism. I don't like to see it. We keep hoping they're going to wake up and not all be loaded off in the cattle cars and never be heard from again. But when you have too much bread and circuses and too much socialism, it sounds like Pinocchio. You're on, we're on Pleasure Island. We've had too many, had it too good, and then now all of a sudden, we're loaded up. We're turned into donkeys and loaded up for sh to sail. And that's unfortunately where we are. The question is, how many people, how many of the donkeys will the left be able to load up before there is a rebellion? So, obviously, we, we continue to take our own health precautions. You should always take health precautions. But know that the government is not in it for your best interest. They're in it for themselves. And the sooner we wake up to that and realize, you know, that... We should not be trusting these politicians the sooner our country will get back to normal and be a better country than it was before. Okay, freedom ring.